Wolves used to be present throughout nearly every state in the United States, but as humans civilized the country, they were rapidly wiped out as they were looked at as a threat to humans. But in recent times, after realizing that these animals are not the demons that we used to make them out to be, we have began to protect them and reintroduce them into some of their former range. This allowed us to see just how important these predators are to the ecosystem and how they are actually not much of a threat to humans. Now, wolves can be found in 14 different states throughout the country, all of which we will take a look at the population of, how they got there, and their potential future. Let's start with Washington. The wolf population within the state of Washington is over 250. Currently, the state has a little more than 40 packs of wolves. These groups of wolves were never actually intentionally brought into the state by humans. They actually came in from neighboring states as well as Canada and have since created their own breeding populations. The population here continues to grow year by year as in the year 2023 we were able to see a 20% increase in the number of wolves. Oregon the wolf population within the state of Oregon is just over 175. As with the state of Washington, groups of wolves made their way into the state and started their own breeding population. Since the year 2008, the population of these predators has been watched yearly and it saw a great increase year by year. But, in the year 2023, no increase was seen as it was the same number as the year 2022. Even before this, the growth rate started to slow down quite a bit after the year 2020. This is partially due to the fact that the state wants to stabilize the population and therefore allowed the hunting of a number of wolves in order to decrease human conflict with these animals. The subspecies of wolf that could be found here is the Northern Rocky Mountain Wolf. California The wolf population within the state of California is more or less 45. In the year 2011, a wolf from the state of Oregon walked into the state. In the year 2015, the state was able to recognize the first pack as two adults had mated and had several pups. Since then, these mammals were able to steadily increase their population within the state of California. Now, there is up to seven packs of them roaming the state. Idaho The wolf population within the state of Idaho is around 1,335. These wolves were first reintroduced into the state in the mid-1990s after being wiped out. Since then, we were able to see a great increase in numbers as they spread throughout the state. In the year 2021, the state had a wolf population of over 1,540, but as you could see, the population has decreased quite a bit since then. This was due to an increased amount of trapping and hunting by humans as the state is looking to decrease the population. In fact, the state only wants a population of more or less 500 wolves within the coming years. Montana the wolf population within the state of Montana is over 1,085. More wolves began coming into the state in the late 1900s where they began successfully repopulating. In the year 2011, we were able to see a population of over 1,250 wolves roaming the state. But an allowed increase in trapping and hunting within the state made the population decrease. This was since recently altered to lessen the number of wolves being killed as the change was too drastic. Wyoming the wolf population within the state of Wyoming is just over 350. Since the year 1995, wolves were brought back into Yellowstone National Park and now have a population of more or less 120 within the park. This was of course one of the most successful stories of conservation as the wolves completely rebalanced the ecosystem, which was very much needed. Despite this, in the state of Wyoming, one can still legally hunt a wolf however and whenever since they are considered predators. Idaho and Montana are also the only other states in the whole country to allow this. Arizona The wolf population within the state of Arizona is at least 110. In the year 1998, a few wolves were brought into the state. The subspecies here is the Mexican wolf, which was once nearly extinct. But thanks to this reintroduction, as well as several other actions taken, we were able to see an increase in their total population. As of now, the number of these wolves is still increasing within the state. They are also increasing within the state of New Mexico. The wolf population within the state of New Mexico is at least 135. Here and Arizona are the only two states in the whole country home to the Mexican wolf subspecies. As with Arizona, the wolves were brought here in 1998 and both states shared the joy of repopulating them. Today, their population continues to increase by good numbers each year. There are also many of these wolves in captivity where they continue to repopulate. This was done in order to prevent near extinction and this also allowed for the release and repopulating of these wolves in the wild. Colorado The wolf population within the state of Colorado is just 10. 
These 10 wolves were brought into Colorado at the end of the year 2023. This was done after residents of the state were given the option to vote on whether or not wolves should be brought back. After an extremely close vote, it was passed, allowing wolves to come back and call the state home. This will of course help the ecosystems within the state, allowing many types of species to flourish. Minnesota The wolf population within the state of Minnesota is more or less 2,700. This state, alongside Alaska, are the only two states in the whole country that has always had a population of wolves. Conservation efforts have allowed the population to increase decade by decade after it was at its lowest in the mid-1900s. This allowed them to become the state with the most wolves out of all the lower 48 states. Their population here continues to slightly increase every year. Wisconsin The wolf population within the state of Wisconsin is at least 1,000. Wolves began wandering into this state in the 1970s and have started their own breeding populations. Their total population within the state is still increasing and there is anywhere from 250 to 300 packs of wolves within the state. Michigan The wolf population within the state of Michigan is over 700. Most of these wolves can be found within the upper peninsula of the state. The 1990s is when wolves came back, walking over from the state of Wisconsin, and this is when their population really started to increase. Today, this continues to happen as we have seen an increase of about 130 wolves since the year 2022. North Carolina The wolf population within the state of North Carolina is more or less 20. This is the only state with the red wolf species. These wolves used to live in a large part of the east and the south of the country, from the state of Texas all the way to the state of New York. But now, they can only be found in a small part of North Carolina. In just the year 2012, these wolves had a population of more or less 120 within the state. But as you could see, there was a huge decrease since then. This was due to several factors such as illegal hunting, car accidents, and political decisions. These wolves are now the closest to extinction of all the canid species in the world. Currently, new efforts are being made to save the species, including releasing more captive raised wolves into the wild over the coming years. Alaska the wolf population within the state of Alaska is around 9,000, but this number can certainly vary as there may be a few thousand more or a few thousand less within this large area of land. This is unsurprisingly the state with the largest population of wolves in the whole country. The wolves within this state are some of the hardiest and largest as they have to deal with extreme conditions such as very harsh winters. This limits the availability of prey at times and can make tracking them down even tougher. This cold weather also forces the wolves here to put on more fat and have thicker coats, making them larger than your average wolves. The subspecies of wolves that live within this state are the interior Alaskan wolves and the Alaskan tundra wolves. The population here within this state has continued to stay stable over the last few years. Besides these 14 states, wolves can be sighted in a few others, but this is a very rare occurrence. As you could see, the wolf population is slowly recovering in the United States after they were wiped out of nearly every state in the country. As more states reintroduce wolves and create better management plans, we are able to see different populations increase throughout the country. This of course helps keep ecosystems throughout the states healthy, which also helps problems that humans may suffer from, such as overpopulation of prey. Let me know in the comments what you think about the future of wolves in the United States and whether or not more states should bring them back. Anyways, I hope you have all enjoyed. Thank you for watching.